What's going on, guys? It's your boy Michael here, back with another video. It's good to hear say that back. Oh, it's good to hear me say that again. And in this video, guys, we're going to be taking a look at the 4th of July promo in Madden Mobile 24. So before we get into the video, make sure you click the like button and subscribe if you guys are new. We're on the road to 1,500 subscribers. So let's, can we hit it before August? I believe we can. Alright, so let's get into it, guys. Um, the 4th of July promo just came out a couple days ago. I'm recording this on a Saturday morning. Alright. So, I know I'm late, but it's never too late to drop a video. So, the 4th of July promo will be two weeks. This will be the first promo of July, obviously. And we, the field pass is about to end in a couple days. And it will be the final upcoming, upcoming final field pass. So, I can't wait. So, we got some new players in the game. So we got new 208 Iconics, now they're up to 208, the previous ones are 200 and now we're bumping up to 208. So we got Jabril Peppers, Jalen Hurts, Vaughn Miller, Azante Samuel Jr., Devontae Turpin, and Christian Okoye. So we got another Christian Okoye um, card. The last time we had one was back in the Christmas promo, I believe. So yeah, um, the Mythics are now 2-2-2, two, 222 two, two, two overall. I gotta say the car art is fire. I love the car art, it's so fire. Definitely the 4th of July fitting, 100%. And the max purse that we got are Miles Garrett. I'm gonna go for this Miles Garrett. Because I do need a defensive end. So, can't wait to get him. And we also got Jamar Chase, which is also a good Madden Max to get if you guys do need a receiver. Alright. So, let's get into the promo. So, first, what you guys want to do is that if you guys haven't already played the fireworks event, it's free stamina. It's free. You don't have to spend any stamina or anything. Um... You get a random fireworks box. And what you use that is you'll get the mystery firework that you put in here and you can get a random Madden Max firework. And you guys see I pulled the red one, which is obviously the worst one that you can get. Obviously. Now the mall event is also free. You get vanity token from this event. So you if you check the overall reward tiers, if you guys are at the 5400 overall elite tier, then that's good because you guys can get up to three iconics, all right? But if you're on the goal, you can still get up to two to three iconics depending how you how you grind and what you you have to grind every single day, all right? So obviously I'm at way overall I'll show you guys my team in in a few days. Alright. Um, what you guys want to do is to play this event and this event. Now, if you guys are on the elite tier, you, you always want to play the 140 token stamina one for stamina program stamina. And you want to spend the 40 program stamina for 80 July, 4th of July tokens. Now, if you guys are... Or if you guys cannot play these events again, you can spend 25 mana cash if you want. But I recommend not doing that. I recommend you guys playing these events. All right. Now the backyard show, you get three events every single day to unlock it, and those are towards to your daily objectives. All right. So you guys can see um, when it hits the next refresh, um, those events will unlock at 10:30 Eastern time. So three seven event, so three events every single day on the backyard show, and also play the overall reward tiers. They guarantee you a 
on common players at 4500 you get three at 55 you get a rare player at 6500 overall you will get two rare players all right with a chance at iconic if you guys pull an iconic and you get good rewards guys you do get good decent rewards in this uh backyard show promo i wish it was like refresh twice a day twice of uh, 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 the entire promo like we could play these now and then we could play these on the 4th of july but you know so yeah that's how the events go now we go to our daily goals um you guys want to spend 250 events every single day that's easy to complete all you have to do is spend your program stamina bar and boom you got it you get 25 extra tokens and you also complete four three fourth of july backyard show events like i just mentioned earlier you get 50 fourth of july tokens every single day the rocket scientist the rocket science achievement if you collect seven mystery fireworks including opened boxes you get a guaranteed rare plus player all right now i'm not sure how you can get the the rest but i'm assuming is that um you'll get them in the promo Or there will be like, I don't know. I think there will be, the events will refresh. I'm not sure. I think it should refresh. But yeah. Um, let's go to over the event pass. Now guys, you don't have to spend the uh, event pass. If you want to, you guys can. If you want to, but I recommend not doing it because it is 30 bucks. And I'd rather spend 30 bucks on the light pass, the field pass, which is 100% way better and more worth it. So, obviously, don't buy the event pass, alright? If it was $10, I will absolutely do it. But, since... Yeah. But the free rewards are pretty good, guys. Um, Like I said, uh, it's free rewards. You guys can see, you get two... 125 mana cash for absolutely free. 135 program stamina for for July packs, coins, weights. All right. So the free rewards are always a W. Just go with the free rewards. All right. Let's clean this pack. Uh, put to the bench. So. Guys, you guys should see that I am almost to complete the 10,000 mana cash gate. Guys, I literally did this um, last month. I will show you a screenshot right now. And yeah, guys. So back to back, I'm about to get the 10,000 mana cash gate uh, back to back months. I never expect that, you know. But this month, I went all in to get uh, mana maxes. Which I'll explain in a couple of videos. In a couple days, I mean. So stay tuned. I can't wait for you guys to show you guys my team. Compared to the last video I did. So guys, what you guys want to do in the uh, in the trades. You guys want to do this set only. And our common player for 95 4th of July tokens. The reason is, is that it is way cheaper and way more um easier because yes doing the player collector you want to do this obviously most a bunch of times but i recommend just doing this but at the end if necessary you guys could do the uncommon select player if you guys want to i do this if i have one or two sometimes but i usually do one if I have one uncommon player that I need to exchange, I will do this set. Alright? The uncommon plus player, I absolutely will not do this because um, it's not worth it in my opinion. It's not worth the gamble. But 
the only reason I would say do this is that if you guys are completely done with the promo, I recommend doing this set, all right? Because you could potentially pull in Iconics and Epics that can help you some stuff, all right? So do the player collector, do the 95 on common player exchange, and go up from there, all right? Do this set to get five, to get an epic player, five random, five rare players, 4th of July rares, to get a epic player. Don't do the select if you want to get a certain player, but I recommend doing the this set because you do need iconics for your team and they will help you go towards the Madden Max tokens for Madden Maxes, all right? And at this point, I would say just go for one of these Madden Maxes. But if you guys do not do not need any of these maxes, if you guys already got the positions that you got, then I will recommend trading them in, in the season 11 Madden Max uh, trade. Okay. Now, if you get three on comments, you guys can see that you'll get 900 total tokens from doing this. But if you get an iconic foil of those, you can get 720. But if you want to go for a mythic player, I recommend doing it. Even though it is sometimes not worth it, but it is 1,158 Madden Max tokens. Which is literally a guaranteed Madden Max select. If you think about it, and that's like almost to two Mad Max randoms that you guys could do, alright? So yeah, man, that is going to be it for the 4th of July promo breakdown. Let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about this. I think it's cool. It's a cool, nice promo. Um, This is definitely one of the biggest promos before the season ends. Literally in a month, in a week, we're going to get Mad Max Mobile 25. So I'm excited to get to the new season. So yeah, man. One more month of Madden Mobile 24 and then Madden Mobile 25. Here we come. All right. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below. Are you guys going to go for Max Garrett at, or Jamar Chase? Or you can just go for Icons and trade them in. All right. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right